Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here bringing you guys week number two of the ICBA. We are taking on Spanik at the Disco, coach of the New York Rangers. Uh, this is his third rebrand in the ICBA, I want to say. He was the Reno Ace Rolla. Al no, this is his second rebrand. He was the Reno Ace Rolla the last couple seasons. Uh, but looking at his team, uh, it is threatening. Uh, on paper, his full team is threatening. He didn't bring stuff like Giratina Origin Form, Toxapex, a lot of the stuff that I was actually predicting. I wasn't thinking Rhydon or Cryogonal would come. So... Looking at the squad right away, we have Mega Diancy, Skarmory, Miltank, Mamoswine, Naganadale, and Talon Flame. So we're going to hop right into the battle here again, Spanik. And right off the bat, he didn't have a very good lead Pokemon. Uh, Rotom would probably be his best one, but I do have a Mega Diancy. So I felt pretty confident in leading with my Mega Diancy here. As I can either click Protect... But he doesn't have a very good rock resist, uh, so I can fire off a uh, Diamond Storm, a max attack Diamond Storm, and he doesn't have a really good switch in. Clefable takes about 50% from it. It, is, it could be ten, potentially two hit KO'd by Diamond Storm. So that is something that I really like seeing, but he did show right away he is Scarf Rotom Heat, which now puts me in a little bit of an issue. I don't have anything to outspeed it. Uh, Naganadel is a, a t special attack raising set. So you see there, the Diamond Storm does about 50-ish eh, percent here. So, one, I'm just going to click Protect here. I wanted to scout to see what he was going to do. Uh, if he was just going to attack, if he was going to try to set up. Uh, well, mostly try to attack to really cripple my Diancy. So that was the main reason I went for Protect. I really wanted to scout to see what he was going to do. And I should have done that turn one and much and been in a much better position here i'm just going to fire off another diamond storm because i am max attack i don't care what he can do as he does set up a calm mine i don't really care if he sets up calm mine because again judging by his the damage output he should know by now that i'm physically offensive diancy uh but again it could be a sack because he doesn't have a very good switch into this thing uh, ride on doesn't want to potentially switch into a moon blast as diamond storm will pick up a ko here and clefable will fall to the mega diancy which actually makes me very happy because clefable is just one of those things out of the way now uh, but here comes the scissor which i it's tough for me to play around scissor town flame set i have does not deal with scissor very well uh in terms of damage because i'm swords dance taunt roost and brave bird so the set is not bad because of being able to just taunt sd roost up on the scissor taunt it again so that one it can't heal two it can't set up swords dances so in a sense it's a okay set against the scissor uh so i immediately just go out in my town flame to take the bullet punch here and we are gale wings unfortunately not flame body flame body would have kind of been cool to potentially burn the scissor had the scissor been burned and i got a diamond storm boost that would have been very good been able to take a bullet punch uh but here i'm just gonna fire off a taunt uh, i don't care what switches in uh, if his rotom comes in i can just taunt it prevent a trick um but here i was really expecting him to click volt switch again so i'm like okay so let's make a read here Let's go out into my Mammal Swine and get me into a very solid position here. Instead of me going out into my Mill Tank, which does well, I end up just making the Bonehead play, and I go right out into my Mammal Swine, which does not take overheat well at all. He gets a special attack drop, so with the special attack drop now, I'm thinking, I can get into my Naganadel. He's minus two special attack. I can get into my Naganadel taken overheat very well and now i can start setting up a nasty plot here uh the downside was um he does have a live part in the back and i'll explain this when we get to that point but here i can just set up a nasty plot uh he really has nothing the downside was i am special attack boosting i was not speed boosting uh choice scarfers really weren't taken into consideration in prep and right off the bat uh, I do get the nasty plot up. I am Draconium Z, so 
this cryogonal will not live a plus two modest dragonium z uh the devastating drake is going to come through pick up a ko on the cryogonal so i'm in an okay spot i've rebounded i know i've pretty much just lost my mammal swine at this point so i gotta try to potentially kill as much now when i was actually playing the battle i did not think that i was special attack raising uh but unfortunately we are which now allows liepard to come in he come uh and t-wave me so the important thing about that was i could have been plus one speed and had i break through paralysis i could potentially start sweeping the rest of my opponent's team i do get paralyzed here which allows him to set up a nasty plot which is really unfortunate so this very just beginning of the battle really was just fast pace no thinking through the moves i figured thunder wave would come uh but there's again no reason for me to just sack off something and cripple something uh, but i really was not thinking that hey you have a mill tank in the back with heal bell so again it was just lack of responsibility by me by me to check my sets he's gonna go for the hidden power ground take me out as Naganadel does fall, the paralysis sucked because it allowed him to actually get a swords dance up. Uh, but Mammoth Swine can come in revenge with Ice Shard. So you know what? We're up, we're up five to three. Well, four to three now because Mammoth Swine does fall to the Life Orb recoil. So I'm sitting here looking at it like, okay, so four three. I've lost my two biggest offensive threats. I lost my biggest way to take out the Scizor. And at this point right now, I don't have anything for this stupid Rotom. And this was a Rotom I really wanted on my team, too. This was a Mon that Spanik took that really just hurt the back half of my draft. Uh, so now I decide, hey, buddy, let's go into Mill Tank here. You're specially defensive. You could have gone into that instead of sacking off your Mammal Swine. Um, again, it's just, it was just poor play. This week was just poor play by me uh, from MPL Friday. So here... I decide, let us get our Stealth Rocks up, uh, just to limit the Rotom. Actually, I Milk Drink. Uh, in comes his Rhydon. I'm not really sure what Rhydon's going to do. I know it's going to have Eviolite. I know it's going to have Stone Edge, Earthquake, and potentially Stealth Rocks. Uh, but again, I can't switch Diancy in, because Diancy will die. And I kind of need Diancy to take out potentially Scizor with Hidden Power Fire if I can get a Diamond Storm boost. That was one thing that 50% chance Diamond Storm does not give you the plus two defense raise, which sucks. Uh, so here now I decide I need to get my rocks up so that Rotom can start getting chip damage. Uh, but I figured with me hard Talonflame, he's going to go hard Rotom so I can go back out to my mill tank here. He's just going to click the bolt switch. I'm going to get my rocks up, which is now going to help limit uh, how much damage or how many times that Rotom can actually switch in to my team. I do have Seismic Toss, which does help weaken this uh, Rhydon, which is very nice. So I do have something to actually connect with the Rhydon. Uh, the issue is the Scizor in the back. I don't really have much for the Scizor, especially if he's a Roost set. Um, so I got to make sure I keep my Talonflame healthy enough to where I can take on Scizor. Uh, because Taunt can deal with it. Swords Dance roost scissor set uh but he's gonna go for the earthquake here he's gonna do a good chunk of damage which is n okay for me uh mill tank does do a lot versus the rest of his team uh ride on scissor and uh rotom ah, blanking on his team there uh but he's gonna get his own rocks up so me, I was so preoccupied with these rocks. I forgot I had a Skarmory. I forgot I had Talonflame. I could have just sat here and 1v1'd this Rotom, or this Rhydon. I could have just sat there, took Stone Edges, Milk Drink, allowed myself to keep healthy. So... My main goal was I have to get these rocks off for my Talonflame. And I let my Skarmory go down here. One, I mean, he connected six Stone Edges this game. I don't know who does that, but 
I could have just sat here roost stalled and wasted his PP on this ride on instead I just I played poorly here so I go about I go back out to my mill tank I know I can still get my rocks up I know I can seismic toss this thing uh, to make sure that I weaken it he's gonna go for the earthquake and at this point I still have Diancy I still have Talonflame so I feel like I'm still in a very good spot the issue is Rotom does take out my Diancy with Thunderbolt I mean you guys saw by that volt switch damage did well over half to my Mega Diancy so I know I have to keep this mill tank somewhat healthy for me to just take it out uh, and this point here I am weakening the ride on I know he doesn't have recovery so it does help me in the long haul that I can milk drink take out the ride on uh, but I, I in the back of my mind I kept figuring he's gonna try to get his rocks up I have a talent flame he has to try to get his rocks up uh, but again, again, it just wasn't the case there, and I had plenty of chances right there to try and get my rocks up, because this Rotom would have taken 25%, and if he tries to Volt Switch again, that's just another 25% more that he's taking. Uh, but he's just gonna Volt Switch here. I can fire off another Milk Drink, I can fire off another Seismic Toss, because he doesn't really have anything that can reliably break my mill tank so I just go for the seismic toss here it's gonna do a good amount to scissor again if I would have had rocks it would have been a nice chunk close to 45% I would have done to that scissor and now I would have forced him to roost here I make the dumb play and I just go out into my talent flame so at this point now I have to let my talent flame down and he made a great read there that I was going to go out to Talonflame. Had I just stayed in and milk drink, I would have been in a fantastic spot. I would have got my rocks up. Could have taken out the Rhydon. But here he's just going to click Volt Switch. Uh, and take, uh, just damage my Talonflame here. As I do just set up a Swords Dance. Again, it was just stupid. I should have probably just gone for a Roost there to keep my Talonflame healthy. But again... It just was a lack of my brain thinking um, about what I can do. Uh, normally, I've played my late game really, really well. Here, I just go for the roost and hope for a Stone Edge miss. That was pretty much it, but he will connect the Stone Edge and Talonflame will go down to the right on. So now it leaves me Mill Tank and Mega Diancy. Mega Diancy can pick up a kill here uh, to really just narrow the differential at this point. That's all I'm playing for is just to narrow the differential. As I go for the Moonblast, Moonblast will take out the Rhydon. Now with only 24 special attack, I couldn't have gotten this Rhydon earlier because I did not actually pick up a KO from 50%. So here comes the Mega Scizor. Uh, I could go to my Mill Tank, but again, there's honestly no point in it. Um, I could sit here, protect, make sure that he over predicts and maybe goes for like a bug bite or something and I pick him off with HP fire, but he will go for the bullet punch and will take out the Mega Diancy. Uh, as all we have left is the mill tank and again, my poor late game play just cost me here. Um, he made great read there going into his Rotom on the Talon Flame. Unfortunately, I did not have like Will-O-Wisp on the Talonflame. Will-O-Wisp would have been a very nice move. Uh, as I just go for the Seismic Toss here, I pretty much just threw in the towel at this point. There was no reason for me to really milk drink uh, because he ta he probably has Roost. Uh, it just wasn't worth the stall battle here. Is he just going to go for the Bug Bite and knock me out and we will fall 2-0 to the New York Rangers. Really hurts as it's a divisional game. But... Um, Losses have to come sometime. It was just really poor play for me this week, and it was a week I was not very happy with in terms of how I played the games. But we're looking to bounce back next week against the Silmar Silvions and their coach, Sharpedo43. Go over and check out Spanik's channel, as well as all the other ICBA coaches. Their links are down in the description below. But with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB, and I'm out.